Seven years ago, a young 3D rigging and animation artist embarked on a mission to make a blender tool that would go on to change how we do rigging and animation. In fact, at this point, it is considered part of Blender. So what is this tool slash add-on I'm talking about? And how did its developer go from working on the most successful animation feature films such as Minions and Despicable Me 3 to start his journey creating Blender add-ons for the community? And what you should know about this if you are in animation using Blender. Speaking about animation, I recently wanted to up my product animation game. You know, those crispy modern product animations that you can see everywhere nowadays. And this class by Derek Elliott was an awesome resource to learn from. I feel like I understand the basics, but what Derek offers in this class is a workflow on how to combine all the knowledge into one awesome looping animation. By the way, if you are interested in learning more about animation, Skillshare is the place for you. Skillshare is the largest learning community on the web, with thousands of classes led by industry professionals in film, illustration, design, freelance, productivity, and more. And what I like more about Skillshare is their recent Learning Paths edition, where you not only can pick a class, but also a learning path with multiple courses handpicked and curated specifically to help you achieve your goals. So if you want, for example, to master modeling and animation in Blender, this learning path is a perfect pick for you. You will go through all the major milestones by learning modeling, sculpting, lighting and materials in addition to animation. So, the first 1000 people to click the link in the description will get a 1 month free Skillshare Premium Membership, which will allow you to access the entire library of learning paths and in addition to all their classes. Skillshare has been a big supporter of the channel for a long time, so please help support the channel and pick a new skill by clicking the link in the description. For those of you who don't know what it is, AutoRig Pro is a Blender tool that does exactly what its name suggests. It serves as a way to breathe life into your 3D characters by providing a complete character rigging toolset. Rigging in computer graphics is the idea of creating visual skeletons for a 3D model to be able to animate it by moving it around. The difference is that this toolset is superior to the one found in Vanilla Blender, which we'll go through in just a second. Before getting into the tool itself, let's discover the wizard behind the magic. AutoRig was created by Luca Weber, a talented animator and a developer from France. He started his 3D graphics and art journey in his childhood. And after finishing a bachelor's degree in sciences, he graduated from school in 2012 with a doctor's degree in CG film direction and graduated later from the Goblins Animation School in 2013 in character animation. But how is this related to his add-on, you might ask? Well, what this led to is Luca developing a unique set of skills between 3D animation and programming which pretty much led him to create one of the most advanced and most popular Blender tools of all time. While the tool has many features, we can't cover them all. We have, for example, smart features to automatically place the bones on characters, the retargeting of any armature action to another one, in addition to a game engine export feature, advanced facial setup with automated placement, among many other features, which we can discover more in detail in other videos. But the question now is, how did this add-on come to life? So before the developer had his hands on Blender, he started his career by working with other 3D popular software that we all know, such as Max and Maya, which he learned in 3D art school and for job opportunities. After he started discovering the world of Blender, he started to notice the fundamental rigging issues with the software. In his own words, I've always liked to explore the full spectrum of 3D art, for modeling, scripting, rigging, to rendering. But I started my career in the animation industry by animating characters or feature films such as Minions and Despicable Me 3. I've learned a lot during these years. Each tiny controller of a character rig is important to fine-tune every detail of the pose. Meanwhile, I was creating characters in Blender and I was rigging them manually. I started to write scripts to automate a few tasks. 
then progressively wrote a full add-on, with only three buttons back then. Following that event, he started to receive requests from the community to release the add-on publicly, and the fact that there was no rigging add-on that complied with game engines at the time. The first version of the add-on was developed within a few months as a solo project, which started approximately around seven years ago, and has been updated constantly ever since. But where does it stand right now? When it comes to the tools of the add-on itself, there are many aspects that make it better. But to get to the bottom of it, comparing it to Blender's manual rigging system is like day and night. Look, I'm not saying that Blender is a bad software, but as far as rigging goes, it still has a long way to go compared to some industry standard software. As we see through many complaints of 3D artists online, such as this one who stated, I think my problem is that I feel like rigging and white painting in Blender make the simplest things feel like more of a pain. I took three modeling classes in school a few years back, but we used Maya. I actually loved rigging in Maya, but then I switched to Blender recently and it just doesn't seem to flow how I would like it to do. The entire rigging workflow in Blender is by manually placing bones on your 3D models, and to perform operations such as IK, FK or shape keys, we would have to go back and forth in never-ending cycles through the various Blender menus, which is anything but enjoyable if you ask me. To address this issue, AutoRig Pro in a way automates many of the rigging aspects of the software. For example, similar to the Mixamo website, we can place and drag circles on the joints of humanoid characters to automatically generate a rig. As for non-humanoid characters, it's not possible for them to be rigged with these smart features because they come in all shapes and forms and it is tricky to build an automatic system that works for all of them. But it is always possible to manually rig them with the add-on. Based on that, we can call it a non-destructive workflow. In other words, the rig is easily editable in any given point after its creation. Besides, the rig can also be further customized through the side menu of the tool such as the ability to add fingers, wings, or tails, in addition to other stuff, as well as a kilt limb feature to rig the likes of dresses and skirts. But this is not everything. The add-on just keeps offering more features, such as full facial rigs, secondary controllers, and rig layers to store the different aspects of the rig in different layers. For example, facial bones in one layer and fingers in the other. But honestly, we are still just touching the tip of the iceberg here. And there are way too many features that come with the add-on, which we can't cover all in this video unfortunately. So you can check the add-ons page for more details, links in the description. Now, making and sustaining an add-on of this caliber was not a walk in the park. I mean, after all, a big part of the community relies on it, and in my opinion, I would say it even became part of Blender's identity. However, as they say, with great power comes great responsibility. So behind the scenes, there is a darker side, especially for someone like this developer who's just doing it as a part-time job. Just like he said, add-on development is a part-time job for me. I also provide support to users via email and videos. And I have other projects on the go. I rig for animation studios and a game project. It has been constant work and improvements since then. It was never easy. Although it is a passion project, it can be very rough. Sometimes a new Blender update will break half of your code, and you have to refactor it all. Spend hours to solve math problems or debug something. Sometimes users can be very harsh and denigrate your work, and even you personally, for no real reason. But most of the users are very nice, fortunately. Receiving positive feedback is always appreciated. It helps me to keep moving forward. The fascinating part is that he further revealed his unique approach to programming add-ons like this one. Well, it is successful for a reason after all. He starts his process by doing non-programmer tasks, since coding add-ons is what he referred to as high-level code. So to avoid pointlessly coding something that may not even work, he first tries to figure out how it can be done manually in Blender. After that, he may also draw geometrical figures on a piece of paper, since a large part of this code relies on visual elements. I mean, 
it is computer graphics after all. These methods help him clarify what he needs to code and automate, and to boil down complex abstract ideas into simple processes. Then he tries to figure out how to translate that into an interface with buttons and settings that function, to finally start typing instructions at the end. So as we said before, this add-on is one of the most popular Blender add-ons of all time, but it wasn't expected to happen. Just like how Lucas said, the success of AutoRig Pro was not expected at all. It really started as a hobby project, and Blender Market gave me the opportunity to publish it with simple tools. And as the sales were increasing over time, I spent more and more time on it. And while I believe Blender has a long way to go in rigging to compete with other software such as Maya, we can't deny that AutoRig Pro took major leaps to make the rigging experience in Blender way better. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, if you are new, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.